Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. This is Kyler Holland, and today we're gonna be jumping into an RGB circular edge effect. It's pretty awesome because you can apply it to your videos and use any color you want. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro video, and if you did, click that thumbs up because it helps out the channel. Speaking of helping out the channel, today's sponsor is brought to you by PhotoFire Slideshow Maker. This enables you to create slideshows with photos and videos in three simple steps. All you have to do is import your footage and then select a theme. PhotoFire has a ton of different themes that you can browse through as well as music options, so find what fits your needs. You can personalize your slideshow and customize it to your liking. All you have to do next is save and share your video with one click and you are done. Photofire Slideshow Maker. So now that we're back in Premiere, I can show you how to do this effect. But first, we have to understand a little bit about RG. B. And to understand this, I want you to pay attention to this little diagram right here. And when you're editing as well, you can pull up this diagram for reference later. I use this a lot when I'm trying to figure out how to get a magenta, teal, or yellow color for my videos. Now that we understand what we are working with, all we have to do to do this effect is copy your video layer. Anytime you want to apply this effect to your video, typically with an RGB, you would have to make three videos, but with this effect, all you have to do is copy it once above your video layer. And to copy it, you can either click on it and hit Control C and then Control V, or you can do what I do and hold down the Alt key and drag it up. That will copy the video. So once we have our video copied, click on your top video layer and we're gonna go to the Effects tab. If you don't see the Effects tab, we're gonna go to Window and then Find Effects. Now, under Effects tab, we're gonna type in RGB. Now, once we type in RGB, you'll see that under video effects, image control, color balance, RGB, that is the effect we want. We're gonna click and drag that onto our top video layer. Now we're gonna go to the effects controls tab, and if you don't see the effects controls tab, go to window and then enable effects controls. In the effects controls tab, you'll see that we have this color balance RGB effect to play with. Now you can adjust the red panel down to zero, you can adjust the green down to zero, and you can adjust the blue down to zero. All this does is manipulate the color channels that we're working with. Sometimes there's a glitch where it might change to 39 when you reload back into it, as you just saw right there. I don't know why it does that, but just stick around and know that we're gonna be working with 100. So if you ever see 39, know that that is 100. So coming back in here, I wanna show you a quick example. If I want the edges to be red, I'm gonna make the green zero and blue zero as well. And that will create a red overlay for my video. Now, the only other thing that we have to do is go to the blend mode and change this to lighten. Anytime we adjust the top clip, our edges will become red. So you can either keyframe the position and scale, or you can do the circular edge effect, which is what I would prefer to do. So I'm gonna go to the effects tab and type in lens distortion. Now we're gonna scroll down till we find the video effects distort lens distortion and drag that onto our top video layer. Now if we go to the effects controls tab, you'll see that we can have this lens distortion effect to play with. If we mess around with the curvature by dragging it to the left, you'll see that it drags it in a circular pattern. This lens distortion effect will only manipulate our edges and hardly manipulate the center. The farther we drag this to the left, the more our edges will be affected. I found that negative one to negative five works the best. As you can see, this pillar is affected a lot right now. And then as it gets closer to the center, the pillar will not be affected. And then once it gets out to the edge again, it'll be affected again. So why do I like this effect? Well, this effect is pretty cool because like I said, you can change the intensities of it to make it more effective. And now that we have this, we can refer to our color wheel to get different colors. Clicking on our top video layer, we just made red. Now we wanna make green. So in order to make green, we're gonna click on red and make it zero and go to green and make it 100. Now that that's 100, you'll see that our edges are now green. And let's make blue. So again, click on green, make it zero, click on blue and make it 100. 
So now we have a blue edge. So what, what about these colors in here? What if we want to make a magenta or a purple color? Well, all we have to do is make red and blue 100%. Still clicking on our top video layer, we have blue at 100%. Now let's go to red and make it 100%. Now, anytime we manipulate this, our edges are purple. Next example, I'm gonna show you how to do teal. Again, we want blue at 100% and green at 100%. So now we know that we wanna make red zero and green 100%. Now we have teal. And again, if we wanna get yellow, all we have to do is make blue zero and red 100% as well as green. And now we have yellow. Now that you know how to do a singular color, I'm gonna show you how to do a multitude of colors like I did in the intro video. As you can see in the intro video, we have three layers. When you wanna do more colors, you actually need three video layers. All you have to do is hold Alt, and drag up, and then Alt and drag up one more time. It should be Option on Mac. Now that we have these three video layers, let's go to the Effects tab and type in RGB. Now that RGB is there, let's go to Image Control, Color Balance, and drag RGB onto all of our clips. Clicking on our top video layer, let's go to the Effects Controls tab, and you'll see that everything is at 100% or 39. So all we have to do is click on our red video layer and make it 100. Click on green and make it zero. Click on blue and make it zero as well. Select the blend mode and change this to lighten. Let's go to the second video layer and change green to 100% and red to zero and blue to zero. Again, changing the blend mode to lighten. Now let's go to our final video layer and we're gonna drag blue to 100% and red to zero and green to zero. Now that we've done that, anytime we adjust any of these video layers, we will start to get two colors since they are blending together. For example, if we drag the bottom one around, we will get blue and yellow. And if we drag the middle one around, we will get purple and green. And if we drag the top one, we will get red and blue. Again, we can use our similar effect that we did in the beginning. Go to the effects tab and type in lens distortion and drag on the lens distortion effect onto our video layer and manipulate the curvature. As you can see, we are starting to get our edge effects, only this time it is including blue and red. So you can play around with a bunch of these different techniques to get different effects. I can't wait to see you apply this to your videos. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned something. If you did, click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.